Hey, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. On this breakdown, we're going to go over Misha Tate versus Marianne Renault. This, of course, is Misha Tate's big comeback fight. Let's not waste any time and get right into this matchup. All right, so first, starting with Marianne Renault. Renault was 44 years old. She stands at 5'6 with a 68 inch reach. A mixed martial arts record is 9 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw. Currently, Marianne's on a four fight losing skid. As far as her fighting ability, she's very tough, tough competitor, never been finished in her pro career. She has a black belt in BJJ, well rounded, varied win methods. Marianne to me is like a jack of all trades. She can pretty much do it all. A little bit of extra information. Marianne confirmed that this is her last fight. After this fight, she's going to retire, which could motivate her to go out on a win or since she's mentally checked out already actually hurt her performance i guess we're gonna see on fight night what goes down moving on to misha cupcake tate misha's 34 years old five foot six 65 inch reach mixed martial arts record 18 wins seven losses she is the former women's ufc and strike force bantamweight champ purple belt in bjj Misha retired on a two-fight skid. Her last fight was in 2016, and she lost to Raquel Pennington. So yeah, she's been out for a while. Misha Tate, very game fighter. Very, very tough as well. Pioneer of the sport as far as women's mixed martial arts. Just like Renault, Misha's well-rounded. She has a pretty damn good ground game. Good control. Good submissions. Her striking's formidable. She lacks a little bit of fluidity on the feet. You really saw the chink in the armor there against Nunez, but really, who beats Amanda Nunez? No shame in losing to the best. Okay guys, so the matchup. How could this fight possibly play out? Well, I'm just going to say that I definitely favor Misha Tate. I think Misha's fought better competition in her career. She's reached greater heights, fought at a larger stage two-time bantamweight champion different organizations i feel like they're kind of similar in the sense that they're both jacks of all trades but i just think that misha tate does everything a little bit better i think misha tate's gonna outscore renault on the feet the ground might be a wash but truthfully even there i think misha tate will maintain top position i think her bjj is good enough to avoid getting tapped out and she would just Keep top control, land ground and pound, wash, rinse, repeat. Both of these ladies are very tough, super durable. Might not be a finish in this fight. This one may go to decision. That's what I'm honestly thinking. If I had to put a ratio on this, even though Misha's been out for quite a while, she has the youth, the experience, and I think the skill over Marianne Renault. So I think Misha takes this fight 65-35. I think ring rust will play a factor for Misha Tate, but I think she can still pull this off. Renault's already like halfway out the door, talking retirement after this fight. She's on a four fight skid. Confidence levels must be at an all time low. Yeah, me personally, definitely picking Misha Tate via decision. And mostly by just being a little bit better than Marion Renault in all aspects of the game, basically outpointing her. So those are my quick thoughts on this fight, guys. You let me know in the comment section. Who do you think takes this one, Tate or Renault? If this is your first time at the channel and you enjoy the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Like and share. It helps the channel grow. Pretty important. Thanks so much, guys. And until the next segment, you all take care. Enjoy the fight.